3,000, 30 pounds as you see it here, new model. Familiar layout, but new to the GeoPro series, the 19BH GeoPro here at Halid RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, for the last year, they've had the 16BH GeoPro, and a lot of people have asked, uh, does GeoPro have a bigger bunkhouse, one that has a full-time bed where I don't have to flip the dinette up and down? And until now, the answer was no, but thankfully, <laughs> GeoPro has expanded their lineup. They've nearly doubled their floor plan since last year to bring more new opportunities like this to the table. 20 feet tip to tail, uh, just over or just shy of 3,000 pounds, depending on how you have it built. Uh, you still have all sorts of Asdell, the stable steps, the integrated solar. It is a small family luxury little boondock friendly camper. And those are multiple qualities that don't always go together well, but <laughs> hey, here we are. That lighter, brighter, modern interior decor that we have going on here, um, other than the very first initial batch of GeoPros has really been one of their signature calling cards. Um, it's something that Winnebago kind of put on the map, but if you look back far enough, Rockwood was doing light interiors before, you know, a, a lot of brands had even been in existence, so... Uh, really what they kind of did is they just recognized that there's a trend. What was old is suddenly new again. And Rockwood just said, hey, we know how to make light colored interiors. And in a small camper like this, it makes a huge, huge difference. Because lighter feels brighter, brighter feels bigger, and bigger feels better. Another thing that I think a lot of people are going to appreciate is there are uh, no points of carpet in this camper, nor are there any heat vents in the flooring. So keeping this thing uh, clean and, you know, debris-free is simple and easy. Now, as compared to the 16 BHS Geo Pro, this is kind of the 16 BHS sort of on steroids in a lot of ways, just being a bigger bunkhouse. Um, you've got the uh, full-time queen bed up front here. Now, at the headboard of the bed, you can see that you do have, first of all, a nice shelf, but then you also have a, uh, uh, what I like to call a pillow side pop-up power tower where you've got a pair of household outlets and a pair of USB plugs. So whether it's going to be phone charging or CPAPs or both, you can do all that right here. And here's the kicker. The GeoPros, being off-grid friendly, will allow CPAP users to go boondocking and sleep well at night because they have an inverter wired to their household outlets. So, other than the air conditioner, if applied, because that is optional, and the microwave, Everything in this camper is either 12 volt uh, powered already or can be inverter powered so it can be off grid friendly. How cool is that? Now, one of the things that's making this thing look and feel extra large is this exaggerated 5 inch vaulted ceiling in here. It also helps that they have these really bright lights. But by the way, you can individually control them, although your main cabin lights are on one switch. Um, so you, you always maintain full control over it. Now, the uh, you've got those great cross breeze windows and something else I need to make sure I point out because I always forget in these is even this, this little GeoPro also has these nicer blackout roller shades. If you really want privacy and you want to blot out the sun, you can. The front window will have a pleated pull down shade, but you'll still maintain privacy as a result. Uh, over here, perfect placement, absolutely perfect placement. You have your entertainment setup. Now, let's start up top here. First of all, you see this little light switch. That's actually your power switch for the Wi-Fi Ranger system to give you easier access to mobile data sources. And then here, you have a Bluetooth stereo, but you might notice you can actually sync your phone to it and place hands-free calls through your camper. And the little bitty dot between that HDMI and USB plug is actually a microphone. And of course, you do have auxiliary inputs, but you want to put in a little Chromecast stick or whatever, you got the perfect little place to do it. But no disc player, no DVD player. Don't worry, no need, because this TV has a built-in DVD player. You can kind of see it peeking out of the side over here along the bottom. So you've got a full feature entertainment center, and that double jointed, uh, double articulating swing arm TV mount makes it so you can watch TV in bed from the table. Maybe the kids could peek it from the bunks. I'm not sure. You might actually be able to twist this thing around and watch TV from the toilet, if that's your thing. Um, Weird, but hey, whatever. You know, I say weird. I guess it's no different than playing on my phone on the toilet. It's probably more sanitary to watch TV on the toilet. So you know what? I retract my statement. Get on with your bad self and watch TV on the can, man. <laughs> oh, that's going in the highlight reel. Anyway, uh, now, big TV, and I've talked about how it's all boondock friendly. This actually has two different power adapters. You can plug it into a household outlet, 
but you might notice this actually does include a 12 volt powered TV. So <laughs> again, boondocking friendly. Now, they utilized every little nook and cranny they could for storage in this thing, and if you ask Gwen Stefani, she will tell you it is B-A-N-A-N-A-S. So when we go outside, you'll see that you do have a full pass-through storage, but very commonly with an east-west bed, as we have here, you'll have this like unbelievably wide cavernous pass-through. This one does not have that. This has a normal, very functional pass-through, but what they did is they utilized some of that space for interior dresser drawer storage, and I think that's an awesome compromise and awesome split there. Now, all of the cabinetry that you're going to see, like you could reach up here, you could feel behind the cabinet styles, you can feel pocket screws holding all that together. So this is built uh, to, to last, this is built to be kind of be bounced off grid a little bit and just kind of take a licking and keep on ticking. That extra large kitchen window right there does open for airflow. That is a tilt open frameless window. Now right here, I like that you have that more rugged stainless sink, but you also have a flush mount three burner stove top. Um, this is just like the stove tops they use in their A-frames. And what's great about it, guys, is when you're not cooking, it gives you good prep space because it's, you know, flush mount. Now, down right below the countertop level, we have the Barley Pop Assist mechanism. And you also have some easy-reach power outlets. But the little detail stuff, like, it's not much. A sponge drawer is nothing to really write home about. But it's there, and it's still better than nothing. And just the little rockwood touches, like the full plywood box drawers and the, the utensil organizer there. Just the little extra things that they do. Now, uh, you could option an oven into one of these, but you have to sacrifice all of this storage. And considering how few people actually use an oven in an RV, I know there are some, and, I, and I'm not saying you're foolish for it or anything. Everybody camps differently, but I know that statistically more than 9 out of 10 people are going to use a cabinet more than they're going to use an oven. So that is one of the neat little things here on this Rockwood. But <laughs> the storage doesn't stop there, because just like under the bed, you've got full drawer storage under the dinette as well. So what's nice here is you never have to go tearing apart that dinette and lifting cushions and this, that, and the other thing to get to the storage. It's always readily available. Now, you'll see as we go outside, you've got this big cargo bunkhouse garage over here, but you do always maintain, like, a lower storage section with interior access down here, so you don't necessarily have to use the bunk in a flip-up fashion. And above the uh, dining area, you do have a pair of, uh, you know, extra storage compartments. Well, not a pair, a trio, as it were. Three uh, doors and one shared extra large cabinet here. Now, uh, this being a non-slide model, this is more of a two-person dinette. Although, being a little bit closer to seven and a half foot wide, it does lend itself to being able to potentially have either mom or dad on one side or the other with one of the kids sitting next to you. So it might not be necessarily super comfortable for two adults, but if you want one adult and one kid on each side, you could probably still finagle four people here pretty simple and easily. Now, of course, we have our master bed for, you know, the likely owners of the camper. But you do have an additional sleeping space here, and this gives us a fourth separate sleeping zone. So you could conceivably sleep five here fairly reasonably well. And again, you have those roll-down shades wherever possible to give you maximum privacy. Now, they did something really cool over here in the bunkhouse. Uh, several, several things. First of all, they're using thicker bunk mattresses. Very, like, Jayco does the same thing. They use double thick bunk mats compared to industry standard anyway, is where I come up with that phrasing. Um, but if the kids sleep better, you're going to have a better day tomorrow. And notice, they give you a nice window up there for some excellent airflow for the kiddos, and each kid gets their own light. Also, in typical Rockwood fashion, they do include a ladder so that you don't have to throw the kids to the upper bunk, and they're not scuffing up your woodwork by, you know, climbing up and down your cabinetry to get there. But an easy-to-miss detail. Separate curtains for each of the bunks, and I think that's something that a lot of people are going to miss but really appreciate. Now, they killed it with this bathroom. They just straight up killed it. Like, from what I'm seeing right now, you can see that, yes, there's excellent floor space in front of a foot flush stool. Now, you know, so far you haven't seen anything that makes you really excited. You start scrolling up here and we go, oh, okay, well, they included the nicer shower surround paneling. And what that's going to do is it's going to just save you the trouble of needing to take your towel when you're done showering to wipe down your walls. And then you go, oh, neat, the little shower caddy so that my, you know, body washes aren't constantly falling off those worthless corner shelves. 
And okay, so they put a skylight in the vaulted roof to give me some more headroom, and then the fun just keeps on going like a bigger Max Air vent fan. And just like all the other Rockwood trailers, when you get the bigger fan, you also get the roof vent cover to go with it. And then we have a very generous dedicated linen cabinet so you can actually keep towels in the bathroom, which is something very few single axle bunkhouses offer. And a nice mirror so you can get yourself ready in here. And you notice the little power outlets on the right. Now, they put one of these handy little corner shelves in here so that if you need a place to kind of set a couple things, you've got the perfect little spot for it. And that's sort of what I mean by the fact that they killed it with this bathroom. This is intelligently designed, feature-packed, and just the simple addition of that mirror and that cabinet along with that bigger vent fan, you're, you're going to be very happy with it back here. But all these things, it's a hundred little things that make this more expensive than virtually any other version of this floor plan I've seen out there. I've already named a few other similar versions of this layout, but they don't have the equipment package that this Rockwood has. But naturally, they don't have the budget of this Rockwood either. So that's why we carry different brands here at Halet RV to really help you zero in on the one that best fits your wants, your needs, your budget, your family. And first of all, just aesthetically, God bless America, that thing has a look to it. Does it not just have a killer look to this thing? So this is a, uh, what is this? It's I think it's a seven foot, four inch body. It's kind of an odd size. It's closer to seven and a half wide. It's slightly larger than a full uh, standard seven wide. Yet, barely 3,000 pounds. So, you know, how have they accomplished that? The narrow body that we're looking at here with that beautiful automotive uh, windshield inset into that nose cap. And the nose cap does sleeve over the roof line, as we'll see later, because we are going to take a little jaunt up to that roof there. How are they keeping this thing larger but lighter? Uh, three major factors. First is just the judicious use of Asdell in their construction. If you're not familiar with Asdell, it's a wood substitute material that is lighter weight. The material itself cannot rot mold or mildew. It also carries some secondary benefits, like it does have some sound deadening qualities, and it is a little bit better at resisting heat exposure. So if you're gonna be camping in screaming hot sun boondocking, it's just one of those, it, it's not a massive difference, but take anything you can get and this has it. This also does have a different kind of chassis. This rides on a lighter weight Z-frame Norco chassis made with high strength, low alloy steel. Now, also in that sweet looks department are those awesome looking frameless windows. But what's kind of cool is if you're boondocking, you don't always have that air conditioner available. Maybe you didn't bring a generator or something like that, or you don't have parked power. You're going to appreciate the fact that you can open those windows on a rainy day since they're frameless. Uh, we have a full outside utility shower, naturally. Like all the normal full hookups you'd find on a mini light, you find on this little critter. Uh, now this is, I guess, the easiest way I can describe it. Like, you've seen this floor plan a thousand times, I'm sure, if you've been looking around the RV business. One of the most popular versions of it would be something like a 16 BHS or a 174, uh, 16 BHS Wolf Pup, that is, or a 174 BHJ flight. But this is going to be the loaded up, jazzy pants sort of luxury edition of one of those. Specifically, this is a very close counterpart to the 16 BHS, which is sort of like a, a high class, conventionally constructed camper, whereas this is that Asdell laminated ultralight with the solar sort of variety. Now, they have uh, this and the Wolf Pup both share this feature right here, which is this deadbolt locking bunkhouse cargo door. Now, I want to specify deadbolt locking because some people will see this. And if I don't mention that, they're going to be like, oh my God, somebody could take my kids. The good news is no, that can't happen because this door has the same security as your main entry door. Now, just like we mentioned inside, I think I did. Anyway, a lot to talk about in these if I didn't. Double thickness on their bunk mattresses, but this bed can flip up and lock in place. So if you want to create yourself this like mega cargo garage, you do have the ability to do so. Notice how they do give you that little pass-through compartment down there too. Um... As I back up here, you're going to spy a roof lighter because GeoPros, unlike some, not all, but some single axle mini campers, have walkable roofing. And that's, I think, an important factor to kind of point out there. Now, you also see that this is uh, backup camera ready, just like, again, a big mini light. And that's what's really cool. Other than just the material swaps in terms of the chassis and the, um, oh, what am I wanting to say, Asdell, it's effectively built just like any other Rockwood travel trailer. And that's what I really like about Rockwood is the consistency. And I've always really felt that you get a lot of quality from consistency. When you have the same people building the same thing the same way every single day, you tend to get a positive net result out of it. 
Now they put the biggest awning on this little camper they possibly could, because if they extended it forward any further, it would have to cover up that full pass-through baggage door that we're going to see. I don't think anybody would want to have that happen. So just like uh, Big Brother Mini Light or Ultra or Signature Rockwood, the Geo Series has power awning, you know, easy push-button uh, operation. If you wake up at night and it's banging around, guys, you don't even have to put on pants. You can roll it up from the inside. It also is easy tilt and has an auto rain dump feature. We've got full length LED lighting along the base of it. And right now in the sunshine, it's not terribly impressive, but at night with the white sidewall and the white under awning, it will glow like crazy. Now you've got two different ways of grilling here with a Rockwood uh, Geo Pro. Now, the uh, trailer out of the box, I guess you could say, includes a Coleman Camp Grill. This is a free-floating high-output grill. Uh, it does not actually connect to the camper. It feeds off those separate propane bottles, but as a higher-output grill, it's better in the wind. Notice that it does still kind of include this handy little galvanized rolled steel sort of side work table, shelf, utility space, whatever you want it to be. Um, but back here, you will notice it also has a gas grill quick connect. So if you are uh, those that prefer a normal RVQ grill, Rockwood gives you the choice. Uh, they also give you uh, the benefit of having a more stable entry step system with the, uh, not the one, but the two step series here, more ride stable steps with those adjustable foot pegs. Uh, you can kind of extend them out, flip them down a little bit to be able to marry up to just about any campsite. Now that is an anti-slam door. You see the bigger entry handle, but you might also notice you have this handy touch pad and that will throw your deadbolt for you. Where that's really cool, is because this thing is made, it's really intended for off-grid use, remember. If you're gonna go biking, kayaking, hiking, something, you don't wanna risk the chance of, you know, losing your keys. Well, now you don't have to. Now you can go key-free. You'll note, too, that all of our doors outside that flip up vertically will have the handy little magnet latch to make life a little bit simpler for you. And you also see the side mount solar connect. We're going to see how this also has standard integrated roof solar as well, but if you wanna add a portable panel also, you can have dual solar, or you can park in the shade, which would mostly cancel out the roof uh, solar, but you could still use a portable panel to chase the sun. Now they give you a full pass-through storage here, and it actually is quite large. And what's also nice, easy way to get to see the all aluminum skeleton on this thing. So all kinds of handy little good benefits. Now all of our lights are, uh, whether it's markers, clearance, internal, whatever, they're all LED and all external lighting on these Rockwoods is uh, got top sealing on it to help keep it protected. This is another of these things that isn't impressive during the day, but when you see it at night, it looks cool. They have just a little LED accent thing uh, right below that Rockwood graphic, below that beautiful automotive windshield there. Now up front, you might notice we do have a dual propane tank system. So it's a little bit more like a full on mini light in that regard. Even though it is a smaller camper, it still has the heart and soul of the full feature bigger camper just wrapped up into a smaller 20 foot, 3,000 pound package. Now there's lots of travel trailers here. Pretty much all of them have a walk on roof in a big camper segment. You get into little campers like this and that's not always the case, but it is the case in the case of a Rockwood Geo Pro here at Halet RV. The uh, cool thing about that double vaulted roof structure, that fully laminated thing that they have going on, the vaulted nature of that is the perfect shape for load bearing and weight dispersal. So it tends to be very solid, very stable. And if you live here in the Midwest, if you store this outside where a lot of snow packs up on it, it's gonna handle it. Anywhere that there's snow, this thing's gonna be all right. Now up front here, this is our Wi-Fi Ranger system. It gives you easier access to mobile data connectivity. Quickest way I can easily oversimplify describe it is it's a built-in router. Now you can see that they're comically heavy-handed with their sealants on Rockwoods. And you can also see what was optional last year, uh, this has actually become standard, is the uh, roof mount solar panel that we have here, this 100 watt flex solar panel uh, that integrates right into the RV. So for boondock usage, <clears throat> you're gonna be really happy you have that. Now, that'll charge up your batteries. And what's cool is all GeoPros have a built-in inverter that can run any of the household outlets essentially when you are off grid. The inverter in this RV will run everything except the air conditioner. That is, this is an optional piece of equipment we've added and the microwave. Everything else is either going to be 12 volt or inverter powered for boondock friendly grid, off grid use. Now I wanna stress the fact that if you do add this uh, air conditioner up here on the roof, it's a low profile. Cause if you note, it does not stick up 
further than anything else. So it never affects the overall clearance and height of the camper. The Max Air vent cover back here will always be the tallest point of the RV. What's kind of cool is you get the Max Air vent cover on a Rockwood Geo Pro, just like the Big Brother Rockwoods, because you get that bigger fan in the bathroom. And one more little thing, this little cap right here, this is our 360 siphon cap for your uh, holding tank, your black holding tank. And what this is doing is promoting better airflow to avoid backflow of odors from your black tank through your toilet into your camper, which would obviously be a uh, stinky situation. <clears throat> moving on. Actually, I think we're done. We're not moving on. I think we're done. So whether it's hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything in between. We do it all here at Aylid RV of Coldwater, Michigan, uh, except for hidden dealer fees. We leave those to the big box stores. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.